You know, a lot of people are really convinced that Mephisto is lurking somewhere in the background in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Starting with WandaVision, fans have combed through pretty much every piece of media regarding the MCU, trying to find any possible place where this devilish character might spring up. But I hate to break it to you, we're probably never gonna see him on the big screen. Even the little screen is a little doubtful. But why though? What issues might keep Disney and Marvel from bringing the villain to the MCU? Well, that's what this video is about. I'll break down the issues around including a character like Mephisto in a blockbuster Marvel movie, and even take a bit of time to explore ways that they could bring him in regardless. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Let's start this video off in probably the most logical place that we can by looking at who the heck Mephisto even is. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you don't need any introduction to the character. Judging by my time spent in the comments underneath these videos, the sort of people who watch these videos probably seem to know comics more than I do, which is saying something since it's literally my job to know these things. However, there are also a lot of people who have some misconceptions about who, or rather what, Mephisto is exactly. So for the rest of this video to make much sense to them, we should probably clear that kind of stuff up. So if you don't feel like you need this kind of information, you can just go ahead and click on the next chapter down there if you're on YouTube, or go to this time code if you're watching anywhere else. Cool? Cool. Now, the easiest and most basic way to describe Mephisto is by saying that he is effectively Marvel's equivalent of the devil. And that is certainly what he would like you to believe. In actuality, though, Mephisto and the Judeo-Christian depiction of Satan, Lucifer, are two separate characters within the comics. So there is an actual devil that isn't Mephisto. However, that devil doesn't really do much in the comics and isn't really seen around. So much so that a lot of demonic characters doubt that he even still exists. So a lot of times when Marvel writers need someone to fill in that kind of textbook devil role, they turn to Mephisto because he's just right there. But he is actually just a multiversal demon, existing within his own realm of existence that he calls hell without it actually being the real hell. Because you see, within the multiverse, there are, yes, the countless different versions of Earth. We've got places such as Earth 616, Earth 1610, that's the ultimate universe, uh, we've got Earth 199999. I might actually be missing a nine there. That's the MCU Earth. And then we've got other random little places like Earth 79203, which, fun fact, is the world where instead of getting Marvel heroes, we got those good old tokusatsu heroes from Super Sentai and Kamen Rider. Though Marvel only actually acknowledges the Super Sentai ones because copyright reasons, but if you want to get technical, they both exist there. Fun little fact for you. But beyond those different versions of our particular hunk of rock, within the multiverse we also have smaller pocket dimensions, often ruled over by powerful beings. Mephisto's hell being one of those, the real hell presumably another. So to really sum things up, Mephisto is a being more in line with someone like Dormammu than any of the gods that we've seen within the MCU so far. And that is a fairly apt comparison. I know that I've certainly thrown some shade at the guy so far in this video, kind of saying that Mephisto isn't the real devil and all that, but he's still a super powerful being, just like Dormammu. It's just important to note that he is not himself, in fact, the devil. He's just a devilish figure. And now that we have a basic understanding of what Mephisto is and what he isn't, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Why we may never see Mephisto in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. To actually answer the question that this video posits, why Mephisto will probably never appear in the MCU, is actually rather simple. Really, it all comes down to money. But there is a much deeper explanation that is worth getting into. When you really break it down and lay it all out, it comes down to two factors, audience demographics and foreign interests. Let's go ahead and start with that first one since it's easily the simplest. As we all know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is, for the most part, meant to be enjoyed by audiences of all ages and all walks of life, meaning that all of the entries in the series should be the kind of thing that you can show to kids without worrying too much about people getting angry at the filmmakers. Now, you know what wouldn't work all too well in that regard? Demonic imagery. 
Show too much of that in a big budget blockbuster superhero film that parents take their kids to, and suddenly you're gonna have a ton of peeved off parents and special interest groups. Now I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here real quick before a bunch of you start lighting fires down in the comments. Yes, it should be down to parents and not the studios to educate themselves on what sort of things they might see and what they might be in for before they take their kids to see a movie regardless of past experiences. However, as nice as that sentiment is, in reality, that's not really how things work out. Studios cannot afford to just assume that parents are gonna do what they should do and not get angry when they take poor little Timmy to see the latest Spider-Man movie where there's a guy who kind of looks like the devil who pops up and does devilish things. People will get angry regardless. And besides, all of the smart parental decision making in the world will not do anything to save Disney and Marvel from the wrath of special interest groups. Look at the famous cultural outrages over things such as Dungeons and Dragons or Harry Potter. These were headed by people who believed that games and media containing demonic and occult imagery were themselves evil or somehow harmful to people. It's probably pretty safe to assume that if a tentpole Marvel movie had Mephisto as one of the antagonists, we'd more than likely see something pretty similar to those previous outrages, which would ultimately lead to bad PR for Marvel and Disney. And on top of that, there's the other factor at play here, that being foreign film markets, more specifically, the Chinese film market. Now, like it or not, China is currently the second largest market for movies in the world and it is rapidly growing. So fast, in fact, that analysts have been saying for years that it is only a matter of time before the Chinese box office overtakes the US box office in terms of revenue. So that market is a huge one for filmmakers, especially in regards to big budget blockbusters. And you see, the thing is, the Chinese government has very stringent rules about what can be shown in movies in that country, especially when the film is brought in from a foreign nation. And the history of censorship of media and film in China is far too complicated for me to get into here, but just know that this is something that's dated back to the turn of the century. And I don't mean the turn of the 2000th century, I mean the turn of the 1900s. This isn't a new thing by any stretch. Now, the very specific thing that we care about here is China's rule regarding showing, quote, feudalistic ideology, which is pseudoscience, spirit possession, reincarnation, witchcraft, etc. This rule pretty much excludes any major movie that showcases any sort of occult or demonic imagery from being allowed in the country. So if Disney and Marvel wanted to release their big budget blockbuster superhero film that features Mephisto in that country, which trust me, they would, because that's a lot of money to just leave on the table, they'd either have to heavily edit it, removing any of that demonic stuff, or attempt to recontextualize it which is easier said than done. And even if they did manage to do that, that would still leave them with the previously mentioned problems that I talked about earlier. So when you take that all in and really look at it, it's a tough sell, but it's not impossible. Now let's not lose all hope. There are a few things that could be done that would allow us to get Mephisto in the MCU in at least some shape or form. The first and by far most simple that I'm sure at least one of you has already commented about is just don't put him in a movie. Put him in a Disney Plus show. Putting something like that on streaming would certainly help. First and foremost, it would actually do a lot to avoid any kind of public outcry from special interest groups. Think about the Marvel Zombies episode of What If, or really just about the entirety of that show at all. A show like that is able to get away with a bit more questionable content because of the nature of the fact that it was not released in a more public manner. I'm not saying that streaming something on Disney Plus isn't also very, very public. I mean, it's on one of the biggest streaming platforms there is, but it's a little bit harder for the common populace to know that it's there. Unlike a big Marvel tentpole film that is marketed literally everywhere. And putting Mephisto into a Disney Plus show also helps to skirt the whole China issue as well as the platform isn't even available in China yet, and when it does become available, a lot of the content that we take for granted as being on there won't be there anyways, so really, Disney wouldn't be losing out on that much. 
Maybe that's why Moon Knight is being done as a show as opposed to a film, since that one deals with all kinds of like pagan moon gods and weird stuff like that. It probably also means that if we ever do get that Midnight Suns team up that I'm just literally begging for, it'll probably be a show as opposed to a movie. As much as I would like to see that on the big screen, if that's the only way that we're gonna get it at all, I guess I'll take it. Of course, there is another option. If they wanted to include Mephisto on the big screen, though it involves pretty drastically changing certain aspects of the character. So lore purists, this is probably where you get off. Remember at the beginning how I mentioned that Mephisto is a multiversal being kind of in line with someone like Dormammu? Provided, of course, that you didn't skip that first part. Well, within Marvel Comics, there are a ton of different beings that exist out in the space between worlds. Amongst them are a group of powerful creatures known as the Many Angled Ones, or the Old Ones if you are feeling particularly horror-minded. These creatures are effectively shapeless, Lovecraftian monstrosities. Actually, that's exactly what they are. Within the canon of Marvel Comics, writer H.P. Lovecraft witnessed some Old Ones shenanigans and then wrote about it. So you know, it's one of those situations where it's like, oops, I got some Cthulhu in your Marvel. Now you got tentacle faces. As the Old One name would imply, these beings are ancient, some existing even beyond the beginning of the universe itself. And over the eons, they have appeared to humans in many forms. So, what's to stop them from appearing to some people as a big red dude with fangs and wild hair? Answer? There really isn't a lot. So who's to say that he isn't a many-angled one? That could be the way that the MCU could go with it. Just swap out all that demonic imagery for tentacles and other body horror goodness. Now, admittedly, this doesn't nearly fix all of the problems, but it does do a lot to help with some of the occult focus stuff. You can't make everybody happy all the time, but this would help to soften the blow, especially from religion-minded groups. On top of that, it wouldn't take a ton of additional setup, as the teaser for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness makes it look like that movie is going to be introducing the old ones to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So you could, you know, just kind of hitch Mephisto onto them. They're used to weird appendages, so you know, they probably won't even notice. Or you know, you could just straight up replace it. And yeah, I know that that would mean not actually getting the character of Mephisto, but it would still allow us to get Mephisto-focused stories in the MCU. Just, you know, tweaked a little bit. We already kind of saw this with No Way Home, which was simultaneously a one more day and one moment in time adaptation with sprinklings of Spider-Verse in there for good measure. So we have seen that Disney and Marvel aren't afraid to take a story that involved Mephisto, in this case, One More Day, and just strip the devil out of the details. Or, you know, not the actual devil, but the pun worked better that way. So maybe the best option for getting Mephisto stories in the MCU is to just not get Mephisto at all. Hey there, everybody. I'm John Algetz. I made this video, and I want to know what you think. How do you think we could get Mephisto in the MCU? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below or go ahead and shoot me a response over on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to CBR for more awesome videos in the future.